Welcome to this edition of Canola TV, featuring the latest information on producing and marketing winter canola in the Southern Plains. Canola TV, a service of PCOM, Producers Cooperative Oil Mill. Howdy neighbors, welcome back to another edition of Canola TV. We're out in the field tonight in uh, Canadian County and uh, at one of the OSU uh, sponsored Canola field tour stops. Uh, with us today, Dr. Ron Scholler, who's the new executive director of the Oklahoma Oil Seed Commission. Dr. Scholler, let, let's, let's talk a little bit about the uh, maybe the crop first of all this year. You made a remark there that uh, a few years back, first time we were looking at canola, you didn't think there was going to be a lot of potential. I didn't think there would be, Ron, because we didn't have the winter hardy varieties and we didn't have the production practices and equipment that we have today. And it didn't look very uh, positive for canola in Oklahoma at that time, but a lot has changed since then. I know that uh, one of the th problems that we had was a lot of shattering as we got to the harvest season. That's absolutely true, and that was due primarily to a lack of understanding of how to handle the crop. The biggest issue at that time, of course, is that we didn't have winter hardy varieties. They were all spring types, and they just wouldn't make it through our difficult winters here in Oklahoma. Fast forward to uh, the 2005-2006 time period, we've come back and we're really starting to, uh, to catch traction from, from those years just a few years ago to, to now in 2012. Absolutely. We have winter hardy varieties, we have better equipment and better understanding of how to use it. We know more about how to produce the crop. We need a little bit of good weather and this crop can be very competitive or complementary to wheat. It, it's going to fit very nicely here in Oklahoma. And of course, it was designed. Uh, Dr. Peeper and others that brought it in had faith in it, uh, looked at it all along as a great rotational crop with our winter wheat. Absolutely. It is a, a, a great opportunity to clean up those wheat grounds and develop and, and, and pr produce a better wheat crop. But I'm just as excited about its potential as a standalone crop. If we get decent yields, uh, not outrageous, uh, there's a lot of profit potential in this crop, whether and and, and then the the rotation benefit with wheat is is a plus mm -hmm. for sure. Right. Now, t tell me a little bit about where we are right now with the uh, with the Oil Seed Commission. I know that we're still kind of in the process of getting it fully up and operational. Well, this will be our third year of collecting on the crop through the first purchaser. Each each grower who sells his canola, his or her canola crop pays a very small assessment fee. That Those funds go to support the research like we've been showing off over the last two days uh, around Oklahoma. This is the sixth tour uh, we've completed in the last two days. So those are the growers kind of paying it forward on their own behalf. Uh, these funds will be returned to them as, an, in, as a form of an investment in the crop that's produced. So the third year of uh, collecting, uh, but we're expecting to generate significantly more funds this year with the crop than we have in the past. For one thing, the crop is much larger, and it's a much better crop this year than we had either either of the past two years. Right. I guess, uh, indeed, you're kind of, uh, in effect, helping them uh, get this learning curve fully fully, I guess, rotated through that our extension folks and our research folks are, are, are actually trying to still learn everything we can about canola. Absolutely. And one of the great things about the, again, small investment that growers make through the Oil Seed Commission is that this leverages uh, greater funding. We get very significant USDA funding and other canola organizations and, and industry support. Uh, because the growers are putting some of their money into this and and those dollars those small amount of dollars are returned to them many times over by the additional support that this uh, garners. Okay, very good. Dr. Scholler, appreciate your time today. Ron Scholler joining us today out here in the field uh, in, uh, in Canadian County on the Radio Oklahoma Network and Canola TV. I'm Ron Hayes. Canola TV, a service of PCOM and produced by OklahomaFarmReport.com.